the Alamilia stuff yet, so... Oh, I used the clock hands, and it's supposed to be the fish start key right there. That's not the exit. Exit? Nope. Okay, that, that has no exit near it, so... I mean, there's not a place to go out of that room, so it must be right here. Yep. So the next floor must be a Zell floor. I'm actually going to go out and save it. Because I don't want to lose this progress. Oh my god, the game's been very nice to me. Oh my. Leave the dungeon, please. I want to save it. Anyway, go to other area. Oh, not go to other area. Save. Okay, I'm actually going to save right here. Yes. Thank you for letting me save the game. Save complete. Okay, now we'll go back in for the final, like, three floors. Two, three floors. <laughs> I'm actually not prepared. <laughs> I don't have my mini guide over here with me. Oh, we don't have to go through a Zal floor, so this will be the last floor, apparently. Oh my, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sad. This is the last set. It doesn't feel like it, though. Just doesn't feel okay. But it just doesn't feel like the last set. Okay, there we go. Killed the Alexander. But it doesn't feel like the last set, does it? Book of Curses. Hmm. That was the critical effect on. Toen's weapon there. It has a chance of making your weapon do like tons of damage, so. Yeah, that was the critical effect if you've never seen it before. Uh, yeah, I could have either gone with durable or. Uh, durable or. Uh, I'm trying to think of it. Or critical? And I was really hoping for durable so I wouldn't my weapon wouldn't break as fast. But I'm honestly pleased with durable, I mean with critical. And if I can still find something with durable on it, I will be happy. But odds are I won't find anything with it on it, so. So yeah, I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna get my hopes up for durable. I may find it during the uh, optional demon shaft dungeon, but ooh, same class. <sighs> but I'm not getting my hopes up because I'm. I've been lucky just to get critical on a weapon. And yes, there is still the uh, cheapish method where you can keep buying a weapon and selling it. Buying a weapon. Checking its stats and then selling it. I actually want to take that out. Put one of these up there. Just in case I die, I'll be instantly revived. And before the final boss battle, I will be uh, going out and buying a lot of stuff needed for the boss battle. Like health items. So I won't be dying every five seconds. Anyway, and notice this time I don't have the echo in the background. Ooh, thank you, game. This game has been so freaking nice. This being the last floor and all. Departure. I really, I really wasn't planning on completing the game this fast. I was wanting to have an epic ending for it, but I guess I won't be able to do that because. I didn't know how many floors I had left. And I've been trying not to use the guide that much, just to make it a little bit more uh, non-scripted. I've read 
on countless forms with Let's Play Lies or on TGN. <laughs> that, oh, you should go unscripted. It makes everything a lot better. Yes, I agree. Being scripted does make things a lot better. It makes everything flow together. But it's not your initial reaction. You've sat there and you planned out the reaction. And it just takes away the... It just takes away the... Uh, authenticness? Do you want to say that? How authentic it sounds? Ooh, yes. Poison? Yes. Let's see what we get from here. Ooh, we got another day saga. I'll take it. Uh, see if this one has anything good on it. Probably not. Nah, it doesn't have anything good. Nah. Try to take out this uh, Alexander real quick. Mm, let's try using one of these on it. Ooh, that did tons of damage. And I've also got the ice one up here. The ice blizzard jump. There we go. There we go. And we got Metal Breaker from it. Hmm. I actually did need Metal break, Metal Metal Breaker. So, yeah, that'll work. Ooh, we got Profit. That's all the Atlamilia, so let's go ahead and watch the... Let's go ahead and watch the final thing. Hourglass. Profit. Departure. Let's watch Departure. wants to bring everyone back and then he knows the only way to do that is if he can go back in time well now he has gone back in time and now he's relying on us to do the job for him so I guess we should get on to doing that fixing the past shall we I think we shall so yeah, let's just go ahead, go out of the dungeon, make our final preparations, and get ready to take on the Dark Genie. <coughs> and I think while we're getting preparations set up, I'm actually going to have me a little smoke. Okay, leave dungeon. Yeah, I'm going to have me a little smoke right here. Okay. Hmm. So let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Sell stuff we don't need, put stuff away. Just do all that stuff. And let's just get prepared for it. Uh, let's use that. We won't need that. We actually don't need the bombs anymore. Ooh, we actually ran out of money. Uh, we can sell that other de song, de song that we got. Uh, how much more food items do we have? Let's get a lot more. Or just two. Two will work too. Can I? No, I didn't want to buy items. I wanted to check in. Sorry about that, guys. I've not had a decent smoke all day. I know it's a bad thing, but don't worry, guys. Soon I'm getting myself an ESO. Let's actually keep those. Uh, let's keep those because I might put some weapons. Put some stuff on weapons real quick. And I know you can barely hear me, but that's because I have my head turned. Dumping ashes into something. Uh, let's go over the weapons that we've got during the storyline. We've got the Wise Owl Sword, which turns into a very good sword. We got the Serpent Sword from the same place, which is really good. 
the I don't know if I stated this or not, but the Serpent Sword it actually uh, is not breakable until you've completed the duel with the Serpent in Wise House Forest. If I said it before, then there you go. If I haven't, then I'm sorry. I said it so late, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and save again. As you can see, I keep two saves on here at all times. Well, technically three, because I saved over my game on accident. Anyway, let's make sure our weapons are set with the people that I want them. Okay, that's good. With the people I want to use. As for the final battle, I'll be using Toen and Ruby. Alright, equip, repair. Because I am using her Athena's armlet. Look at the MP on that thing. It is freaking good. Okay. Let's just sit here and talk about what's going to be happening in the next few seconds. Uh, if my commentary isn't good, you'll be hearing post commentary. If it's good, then I'll keep it in. But most likely, I'll be yelling, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, this sucks, this sucks. Just to let you guys know. Um. Mm. Yes, once we get to the Dark Genie fight, if I'm silent, then I'm going to be putting in some post commentary. And if I'm not silent, then you guys get to hear my live reaction to it. Just so you know, because I've only fought this boss once. Yes, I've gotten to the end of this game before and never fought the Dark Genie, because I stopped like on Goro's floor, and I'm because I never used him. So that's probably why I never beat it. And I never thought about using like thrown items like the bombs or the gems, which I could have easily went back and got gems. But they're overpriced in Queens. You can get gems from uh, Jokers, I think. Anyway, I'm almost done smoking, guys. <coughs> so we'll get on to facing the final boss here in a second. Yeah. As OTG would say, a smoke for courage. And another one for strength. Oh yeah, I went there. I, I referenced OZG over the gun. If you never watched over the gun stuff, uh, go watch it. He is an amazing playthrough, walkthrough, whatever you want to call him. Because he doesn't call his videos uh, let's plays. He calls them HTSFs, how to successfully fail. Which I thought the idea was awesome. Mm. And also, if you want to watch a good round of Borderlands, go watch his uh, uh, HDSF of Borderlands with Claire. Um, but it's really good. Really, really funny. <coughs> and it's full of rage. Anyway, I've been sitting here for too long just mumbling on about anything. So let's actually get into the game and take on the Dark Genie. Unless there's an extra floor. Then I guess I'll be doing that. But, yeah. Night of the Incident, 400 years ago. Let's go, guys. <coughs> I'm actually going to need my notes for this, so... I'm going to let this play through while I get the notes. <laughs> 